Welcome everyone. Today in this presentation, we'll be talking about digital marketing and e-commerce management with you people. So first and foremost thing, what is a digital business or what is an electronic business per se? So e-business is transformation of key business process through the use of internet as a medium and probably as a technology. Whereas the D business uh, is the creation of a new business by design, by blurring the uh, places of digital medium and the physical world altogether. So the new concept would be digital. The promise of digital business is that the universe of application and digitalized assets that work together almost automatically and will always allow rapid development of new capabilities that will yield competitive advantages and that is the difference between an e-business and a d-business so then if this is a business and what is a commerce what is e-commerce e-commerce remember is everything that has been mediated electronically let us talk about information exchanges let us talk about transaction exchanges between an organization and any stakeholder per se and that is what is known as e-commerce so all electronically mediated information exchanges between an organization and its external stakeholders. <clears throat> Let me give you a perspective of e-commerce. A communicative perspective is the delivery of information, a delivery of a product, probably of a service on payment by electronic means, absolutely done on an e-commerce basis. Let me give you a business process perspective. The application of technology towards the automation of the business transaction and the workflow thereby. That is what the business process perspective would be all encamp encompasses. Now give me, uh, allow me to give you a service perspective, enabling cost cutting methods at the same time, increasing the speed and probably the quality of service delivery. This is a service perspective. And the most easiest perspective, which everybody understand is an online perspective. It's a buying and selling of products and information on a virtual medium on an information online fashion so we have four perspectives that i've discussed with you the communicative perspective the business process perspective the service perspective and the online perspective thereby so what is the impact of electronic communication on traditional business digital business transformation these are significant changes to organizational process organizational structure or probably even the organizational system thereby implemented to improve organizational performances through increasing the use of digital media and technology perf platforms which might include inbound ma marketing social media marketing and mobile commerce thereby so what is an impact we are talking about everything called by marketing be it on a social media platform be it on an inbound marketing which can be organic inorganic and definitely if it is done through mobile it can become a mobile commerce remember we are talking about the organizational process structures and system thereby so let me address one at a time the inbound mar marketing first the cons consumer is proactively and actively seeking out information for their needs, for their requirements with a brand that attracts to content, search or social media uh, marketing. So it is all about gaining attention rather than buying it. That is what the inbound marketer would be looking into it. Whereas the outbound marketers would be the old marketing style as in whatever product that they have, will they be selling it out? So inbound marketing is where the consumer is proactive they are learned they are knowledgeable they know what they are seeking out now we will talk about the zero moment of truth now zero moment of truth is very fundamentally requirement for a consumer behavior summary of today's multinational multi-channel consumer decision making for the product purchases where they search review rating styles prices and comments on social media before actually visiting a retailer so what 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 is exactly been done it is where the end customers would actually search everything do all sort of research dissect information gather information on an online platform but probably would end up purchasing it via an offline mode so the moment of truth if, if I may say, in marketing is the moment where customer or probably the user interacts with the brand, the product, the services to form or change an impression about a particular brand, product or services thereby. So this is the moment of truth. Every interaction promises a lot of deliveries and a lot of potential thereby. Let me give you how many moments of truth are there. In fact, if, if I may say, the first moment of truth is when the customer is confronted with the product in store or in real life. The second moment of truth is when the customer purchases a product and probably experiences its quality as per the promises that the brand has given. 
the third moment of truth is consumers feedback the consumers reactions towards the brand towards the product or probably towards the services so these are the first second third moment of truth the first when the consumer comes to know about it the second when they actually make a purchase the third when they actually experience the product or the services the actual moment of truth describes a new post purchase experience gap created by the advent of online shopping after a consumer has made a purchase but before they have received the product thereby so inbound marketing is a powerful since advertising wastage is reduced altogether absolutely there are no more advertising comes around it we are talking about sem or search engine ma marketing we are talking about content marketing we are talking about social media marketing can be used to target prospects with a defined need could be a weakness marketers have less control than in traditional communication where messages are pushed through new communication approaches and consumer behaviors continued marketing the management of text rich media audio and video content aimed at engaging customers and prospects to meet business goals published through print and digital media including web and mobile platform which is repurposed and probably syndicated also to different forms of web presence such as publisher site blogs social media comparison sites this will actually make a uh, create a sense of urgency or a demand among the consumers so that is what content marketing is all about it's the management of text and rich media through a host of number of sites and probably it has been hammered down on the minds of the consumer time and again let me give you social media marketing what is exactly we are talking about it a category of media focusing on participation and peer to peer communication between individuals with site providing capability to develop user generated content what is known as ugc uh, and to exchange messages and comments between the different user so this is what social media is all about it social media which gives you an opportunities for an individual to interact with another individual whether he or she knows the other individual or not is out of question altogether but they are talking about the content about the product about the service of a particular brand now how do we talk about the social media marketing per se monitoring and facilitating customers to customer interaction and perhaps the participation throughout the web to encourage positive engagements with the company and its brand interaction may occur on a company site may occur on a social network or even on a third party site let's say a comparison website that we we'll talk about it so social media essentially means social networking sites uh, rss feeds the virtual worlds the blogs the video blogs this is everything is known as uh, the social media now if we talk about the social media per se the marketing rather if you look into it how do we go around it uh, we are talking about um, a lot of marketing things let's say we talk about social bookmarking social networking we are talking about so many things that comes around it uh let's say the social streaming social search social knowledge if we go go across what does it comes around it so rss is something which is very very useful remember rss is nothing which is uh, which stands for really simple syndications nothing else uh, rich site summary rich simple syndications or probably the comparison site that we come around it the categories for social media is our social networking social knowledge social sharing i have been saying about the social news social streaming and company user generated content probably for the consumption of the designated community per se again repeating the categories for for your convenience social networking social knowledge social sharing social news social streaming and company user generated content and community let me begin with social uh, networking the emphasis is here is to listen to the customers and probably share engaging contents probably hook them up facebook tends to do to be the most important for con consumer audiences and linkedin for the business audiences as simple as it is let's say social knowledge there are informational social network let's say yahoo answers ask me you know something which has been uh, promoted by amazon would be askvelle.com if you if you are aware of it Where where you can help the audience by solving their problems, certainly showing how your products will be helping them. Wikipedia is another site of this category, although it is relatively less application for 
marketing oriented now next comes is social sharing social sharing a social bookmarking site let's say delicious.com wonderful sites to recommend uh, eating out places which can be useful for understanding mostly for the engaging contents within a category we can have similar contents all together people might be fascinated by music people might be fascinated by the travel bugs they would love to uh, move to an offbeat location probably this is what social sharing helps you out around people might be of literary bent of mind would love to go through uh, various fiction probably non fiction uh, uh, stuff then comes the social news twitter is the best example within 144 characters you need to pass on the news so without any fuss around the bush the news has been stable uh, been served piping hot then comes social streaming rich and streaming media social sites for sharing videos for uh, photos and podcasting i say a lot many thing maybe instagram maybe live stream maybe justin tv and so on and so forth now talking about social media categories there are six companies uh, should i say the company user generated community and content you will you will be looking into it there are many Uh, company generated communities why because their company wants to have a captive audiences for their next product la- launches all together they are absolutely distinct from the other types of social presence which are independent of the companies these are companies very own social spaces which may be integrated into product content reviews ratings a customer support group a com- community bl- uh, blogs let's say people traveling on airways they might be having it people uh, driving a harley davidson bike they might be having it people driving mercedes they have they have to have their own social community now why do we go about the example that i have cited out to you the airlines will be promoting their next business the next uh, discounted fare the harley davidson would have a brand to reckon with the work culture needs to be addressed and stamped upon is a lifestyle decision that you are talking around mercedes would be liking to push the next versions of the uh, of the product that they are launching it around now, these are things that ca- keeps on happening around it so let us understand the digital business and e-commerce remember there are two aspect of it one is a sell side e-commerce and the other one is a buy side e-commerce this is where you need to understand for every sell side and for every buy side internet is the only application through which they are communicating one one one, one another and if you look into this particular slide if i have been showing you with the pic there have been a lot of nodes and internodes remember the bigger circle be denoted as a supplier the smaller circle circles are supplier suppliers or the vendor to the supplier if you might go around it the organizational process is been given by the rectangular box which has been marked into pink color the intermediaries are been marked as a triangle customers are hexagon in shape and customers customers or the downline of the customers would be much smaller hexagon in shapes as the case might be now what am i giving it to you the distinction between the buy side and the sell side e-commerce is what is to be promised and that is how we are going across let me give you the definition of electronic com- uh, commerce an electronic mediated information exchange between an organization and its external stakeholders yes this is ecom at its best electronic electronically mediated information exchange between an organization and external ex- stakeholders digital business how business apply digital technology and media to improve the competitiveness of an organization through optimizing internal process with online and traditional channel to the market and supply thereby let us visit the intranet and the extranet remember many digital digital business application that access sensitive companies information requires to be limited within a qualified number of individuals or probably vendors or should i say partners these are internal purpose and the company does not want their product line to be uh, discussed or divulged to their competitors per se if the information is restricted to the employees inside the organization it is always intranet if the access to the organizational web service is extended beyond to some some people else also but not to everyone beyond like organization this might be the extranet that we are talking around here there comes the relationship i am giving you a wonderful elaborations of the relationship between intranet extranet and the internet remember intranet is to the core group of people only within the company core group of people extranet probably core group plus the vendors plus the company uh, plus the people 
or who are the persons of interest in the managing process in the supply chain process probably they will come into it and internet is where the general public would come consume it is belongs to the whole world per se so yes internet is for the company only extranet would be supplier customer collaborators and internet would be through the world for the rest of the world and that is what is happening and it is the it department work to go around and work for the internet intranet extranet and internet per se let me give you a digital marketing definitions all together the management and execution of marketing using electronic media such as website e-commerce iptv mobile media conjunctions with digital data about customer characteristics and probably their behaviors if we can map them and probably optimize to the benefit of the organization nothing can go wrong the marketing of product or services using using digital channels to reach customers and that is what has been given as far as these slides are concerned, right? If you look into it, digital marketing can have campaign, internet, viral marketing, links, followers, website, media, search engine optimization, blogs, advertising, mails, email marketing, adverts, network, forums, communication, you name it. And there are a host of things that can be covered around it. So digital marketing involves applying these technologies which forms online channel to the market. Web, email, database, plus mobile, wireless, and digital TV. To achieve these objectives, support marketing activities aimed at achieving profitable acquisition and retention of customers with a multi channel buying process and the customer life cycle thereby. Through using this marketing tactics, recognize that the strategic importance of digital technology and developing a planned approach to reach and migrate customers to an online medium. Now, how do we go around it? And this can only happen with e-communication and nothing else. Probably we can also take the help of traditional communication. Retention is achieved through improving customer knowledge. Definitely, yes, if we can understand their behavior, we can anticipate their actions of their profiles, of their behavior, of their values, of the loyal drivers that goes around it. Then delivering integrated, targeted communication and online services that matches the individual requirement thereby. So what are we looking into it? We are talking about website and social media presence this is what we are looking forward right so what do we have we have search engine optimizations we have paid services we have pay-per-click ppcs or paid for inclusion feeds we can have an online public relations right publishers outreach community participation media alerting brand protection and so on and so forth we can have an online partnership with a third party vendor fourth party vendors and n numbers of vendors which is popularly known as affiliate marketing sponsorship co-branding linking link building and widget marketing widget ma marketing is where you are allowing a pixel of your uh, of your brand of your company to be installed in an, another's websites we have the offline communications which can be direct uh, mails we can have exhibitions merchandise packaging word of mouth uh, things similarly for uh, advertising personal selling pro sales promotion pr sponsorship everything can be on an offline this will not entail the digital communication per se but this actually um, what should i say the supports digital marketing it uh, it acts as a way to be having a um, uh, good way of connecting with the people probably having an in-person touch can always infuse confidence in the person then we can have an interactive ad site specific media plans where there is an ad network we can have a contra day we can have a sponsorship we can have a behavior targeting we can also opt for an email marketing probably house list emails cold rented listed co-branding ads in a third party look what are we looking out here we are exactly speaking everything which can be done on a social media marketing in terms of audience participation managing social presence viral campaign customer feedback thereby so yes we talk about everything with the digital media let me wind it up by giving this six methods one one at a time we have search engine marketing sem popularly known as placing messages on search engine to encourage click through rates to the website website so you have certain search engine you are searching things you click and it brings to your landing page of your company when the user types a specific key phrases two key search uh, marketing techniques are paid placement and search engine optimizations then we have the online public relation maximizing favorable mentions interactions with a company's brand with a company's product or website using a third party site such as a social network let's say facebook instagram 
uh, we have got Tumblr that are likely to visit by your target audience. It also includes responding to a negative mention. This is very fruitful, you know, if people are addressing the negative con con uh, concerns also and conducting a public relation via site through a press center or a blog. It closely relates to a social media marketing. How should we deal with negative mention? Now, what kind of negative mention? In fact, if you want to go into the social media slide, you will see one of the major negative mentions that has been done is somebody has booked a ticket for an airline and probably the airline decides to either cancel or defer the uh, trip altogether. And this can get the customer getting irritated and probably they might be blurting out in on, on the social media platform. And how do you manage those people, the flare ups, the relation? The third would be online partnership, creating and managing long term arrangement to promote your online services on a third party website or through email communication, different form of partnership, including link building. That means you are in a different website and your uh, different website, probably you have a pixel out there, you have a link in that particular website, people clicking onto that link will help them to transport to your website or to your landing page. This is what is link building is all about it. Affiliate marketing is wherein uh, there are a number of agents who will be working for you and they will take a commission based upon the product that they are being selling it out. Aggregators such as a price comparison, let's say moneysupermarket.com, online sponsorships, co-branding per se. We have interactive advertising, use of online ads such as banners, rich media ads to achieve brand awareness and encourage click-through rights to the targeted site per se. Then we have then opt-in email marketing, renting email issues, list, placing ads on third-party newsletter, e-newsletters or use of an in-house list of customer activate, activation and retention thereby. The social media marketing is a major issue, major, major force for uh, the online presence. Social media marketing is an important category for digital marketing, which involves encouraging customer communication on a company's own site or a social presence, such as Facebook, such as Twitter, or probably a publisher's websites also, the blogs, the forums. It can be applied as a traditional broadcast medium. For example, companies can use Facebook or Twitter to send messages to the customer or partners who have opted in. However, to take advantage of the benefits of the social media, it is important to participate in the customer conversation. These can be related to products, promotions, or customer services and are aimed at learning more about customers. Let us come into the multi-channel and omni-channel marketing concept. Customer communications and product distribution are supported by a combination of digital and traditional channels at different points of buying cycle. Omni-channel reference to the importance of social media and mobile-based interactions in informing purchases. Multi-channel marketing defines how different marketing channels should integrate, how they should support each other in terms of their proposition development, in terms of their communication ability based on the relative merit of a customers and the company thereby. So we can, if it is a single channel communication, the company can talk with the uh, customer directly. But if it is a multi-channel communication, the customer can be approached through a wide media, let's say the traditional media, the online media, the digital media. When we have cross-channel communication, the customer is bombarded with a number of products from a different numbers of companies altogether. And this is cross-channel communication that comes around. And then a customer becomes a focus of attention. Right now, what has been happening is an omni-channel communication. Everybody is, likes to have why for the attention for the customers, no matter how small or minuscule the attention would be all about it. Let me give you a model for an e-commerce transaction. Let's say on an x-axis, we are talking about suppliers of content and services. Now, we can have on an x-axis, on the y-axis with the consumer of the contents and the uh, services that we're talking about. So there is somebody called ma manufacturer or supplier on the x-axis and consumers on the y-axis. So when it is uh, consumer or citizen and consumer or citizen. So some consumer are supplying and consumer are purchasing. So it's a C2C concept. And uh, glorifying example would be eBay. Probably right now eBay is not non-existent. Amazon would be a viable example. Peer-to-peer -peer would be Skype. Blogs and communities, product recommendation, social network might be MySpace, Bebo, you name it and we can have it. What happens when it is uh, consumers are the content uh, uh, are they are availing the consumer availing the consumer but some particular private business organization is actually supply the 
supplying the product or the services thereby so it becomes a b2c that becomes transactional pro probably about amazon relation building of let's say british petroleum brand building is unilever media owner might be news corp comparison intermediary might be kelco price owner as the case might be talking about a government to consumer g2c would be national government transaction let's say we are all paying taxes how do we go around it national government information system and the local government system now what happens if we can have something where there is consumers are the supplier and the businesses are getting uh, are absorbing the services it becomes consumer to business c2b what are what are we talking about we are talking about price line we are talking about consumer feedback communities or campaign the best case scenario most common scenario will be b2b where both businesses are the end consumer and provider for the services that is for transactionals they are all all about relationship building all about being, having a media owned and b2b marketplace there are plentiful of b2b marketplace that is available out here similarly for governments and businesses it will be g2c government will again be living on the taxes and the legal regulation thereby what happens when there is consumer who are actually supplying and the government is consuming that is where c2g concept comes around it it is all about feedback to the government probably the taxes are very high probably the accessibility of the uh, things are not very uh, smooth so and so forth so there are feedback to the government through pressure groups through individual sites what happens from when there's something called business to government it would be b2g or feedback to the government from the business ends as to what are the subsidies required probably what are the tax breaks required if tax havens are to be sorted out or not and last but not the least would be g2g or the government to government this is where intergovernment services comes around it now this is where the dumping policies has to be taken to taken care of this is where the quota uh, system has to be brought into a focus and definitely the exchange rate of your money that comes into play with this i come to an end of this presentation thank you for watching this video till the very end